trailer. The seas are kicking up today, uh, but we're heading toward the Iguana Beach to see how the iguanas are today. Right in front of us is the infamous pig beach and even from here this far out those pigs are big Nice chest on top. I'm gonna find you something. That would be yeah. really nice. Okay, peanut butter and crackers. Will y'all do like a dog? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting close to their mouths. I have heard stories. Look, look, they're just like a dog. Just like a dog. All right, your turn. What is it? Don't let y'all come up. Are y'all the babies? Oh, he wants more, babe. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> she threw the cracker, had peanut butter on it, it stuck to the snout. That's the, the secret. That's the secret is to do the peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have to grab that one. You got it. You poor little thing back there. They need to you. Let me try one more time. Ready? 
You guys are pretty nice. It is pretty calm today. I've heard they can get kind of aggressive sometimes. They're just being real nice. Come on up. I'll give you some. I gave him one already. Yeah, there you go. Oh, the bird sitting on his back here. Yeah. Yeah, those ones don't get it that much, do they? Little back there needs a little bit. Here you go. What? I'll just hand you one. Hello, babe. Oh. Well, there's one finally. He's swimming. Sorry, guy, we're done. We're done. No more. Look, you're going to have to swim. Look at all those out there. They're all swimming now. Tell you what, everybody talks about the Bahamas, and uh, man, these Exuma Islands, 
I think what I like about it is in, in the Eleuthera, it's just one island, but in the over here in the Exumas, it's just so many of them, one after the other, and each one of them has their unique charm and their unique differences. And here at Sandy Key, where we're at right now, at, at low tide, you have this little uh, this beach that uh, just kind of materializes, and then uh, high tide this goes away. So at least we're here at a good part of the time of the day. Uh, water's a lot calmer now than it was this morning when we first set out. And uh, looks like we get to kind of share the beach with some yachts. So anyway, uh, anyway, we're this is just absolutely beautiful. We're loving this. I have my own island. It looks that way. We're on Sandy Key. Uh, we just kind of have a boat for the day, and we're out. Been going down the coast. Been to a couple of different places already, but. We landed here, we set up our little chairs, our little umbrella, and it's paradise. Um, there's one other uh, group of people there on a, on a yacht, and they've kind of set up for the day too. And I uh, kind of visited with them a little bit, and I don't know what else to say. This is just, it's just perfect. Okay, this girl has been sitting here for about the last half hour. I don't know if he thinks we're going to feed him or what, but he just has been sitting there. Same place. Anyway, he's not getting anything from us. There's no food. Ah, uh, the island life. Somehow or another, we need to figure out a way to bottle this and take it home with us. It is so relaxing. The colors, the sounds, the waves crashing. I actually kind of nodded off a couple of times uh, underneath the umbrella here. Love it. flew over this as we was flying into Staniel Key and as you see the three windmills and they got a solar farm here. But this too can be yours with 20 of your closest friends or 19 of your closest friends, 20 to get all together for a bargain basement price of $50,000. Now you might think, is that a month? Oh, or is that a week? No, that's $50,000 per day. So. Oh, and if you have more than 19 friends, you have to pay another fifteen hundred per guest per day. Per day, yeah. So, anyway, so this is over yonder is the name of this island.
almost ended a great day. It's uh, we rented this little Boston Whaler and we spent the day out on the water. I don't know, it's about 4.30 now. We aren't quite done. We're going to keep it our full day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is Thunderball Grotto right behind us and we just finished snorkeling all in it and I mean, I don't know what you can say about it. It's, yeah, it's really cool. We, you know, most of our pictures and video are off of our dive camera, which, you know, we'll post and we'll probably use a little bit of this footage along with it. Uh, but we started out the day to... Down at the iguanas. At the iguanas. And there are some big lizards. <laughs> yeah. They really were not as aggressive as I kind of thought they might be. They... I don't know. The, yeah. the only problem down there, the water was really rough when we yeah. got down there this morning, first thing. But, you know, we managed to see them. And yeah. Well, and then we came by Thunderball Grotto, and the water was still rough, and we didn't even stop. We knew we couldn't hold an anchorage here very, very long. Right. So we went on up to Compass Key yeah. and did the little nurse shark thing. That's a little too touristy. It's a little too commercialized. Yeah, yeah we did not like it. I yeah. mean, it was it was nice. But it I, was fine, but yeah, yeah, yeah it's and it, they charge twenty dollars, just a dollar, yeah, ten dollars yeah. a piece to just, just yeah, yeah. So and and if you wanted a hot dog, it was twenty dollars for one hot dog. So we went, nah, it's not happening. Yeah. So we ended up spending several hours at Sandy K. Uh, and we just about had the little beach island to ourselves, and then uh, a tender from one of the mega yachts, M3, uh, pulled up, and uh, you know some of the guests on that were just absolutely just friendly and down to earth. Yeah, we and, got a picture of us together. That's because... how we got the picture because they he actually walked up and said, "Hey, y'all, yeah. y'all need a picture together," and so he took that picture, and then uh, we drove around a little bit, and then the seas calmed down some, and. We hit Thunderball Grotto. Oh, we forgot Pig. Pig Island. Oh, Pig Island. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, we that saw... was uh, pretty pretty cool. Yeah, um, really, I think there was one other boat there while yeah, we were there. Yeah. But um, for the most part, the, the pigs came up. They were not, again, they were not real aggressive. Like well, they had they been can... fed before. Yeah. What, what yeah. we've heard is if they haven't been fed in a while, they can get pretty violent with you, especially the bigger ones, because when they're hungry and thirsty... Yeah. They're going to root the other yeah. ones out of the way and they will just, they, they will bite you and, and have bitten people before or they'll claw at you. And so, but if they've been fed a little bit, then they just kind of coming out for dessert. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. We had crackers and peanut butter and when we first pulled out the peanut butter, I told Ron, I said, I wonder if they're going to be like the dogs. You know how the dog gets the peanut butter on the roof of, of the mouth. mouth. And then, <laughs> <laughs> you know. yes. yes. They did. <laughs> just like dogs. So anyway, it was hilarious to watch yeah. him do that but uh maybe a little mean i don't know but at least we got him some protein for the day so anyway uh that's kind of a recap of our day so far yeah and, we're just uh, gonna kind of drive around kind of around Daniel key here now so. yeah so anyway we'll get back with you later thanks for watching bye have a good day bye bye